Today's video is all about a OneNote announcement. Ryan McMinn, who's the head of product at OneNote, announced on Twitter that Microsoft had made a backflip and they decided to resume development on OneNote 2016. You might remember that in April last year, Microsoft said that they were no longer going to continue OneNote 2016 and would put all of their effort into OneNote for Windows 10 instead. So now here we are in November 2019, OneNote 2016 is back on the table and it's moving forward. What does this mean for us? What are the implications of this decision? Now, the first implication to this announcement is that a lot of people like myself, rusted on, longtime OneNote users are very happy. We're happy because we don't have to change. That was definitely a big issue for people adapting or adopting a new product. But they're also happy because there was a number of features that OneNote for Windows 10 was never going to deliver for them. For example, local file support, things that are supported in OneNote 2016, like storing your file on your C drive, on a USB stick, or on a file server, they were never going to be supported in OneNote for Windows 10. And that creates a lot of issues for people a lot of people are working with OneNote in organizations where they simply haven't adopted the cloud yet. They're not using SharePoint or OneDrive to store their files. And therefore, OneNote for Windows 10 will never work for them. A lot of people I've spoken to in the EU countries as well have big issues with this because they're very sensitive about where and how they store their data. But I think one of the key reasons that Microsoft actually delivered on this decision in the end was that they couldn't achieve the kind of integration that they wanted with other Office products. For example, Outlook. The integration between Outlook and OneNote for Windows 10 is really reliant on that cloud connection. It's reliant on an internet connection and it doesn't allow us to do as much as we could do in OneNote 2016. For example, just something simple like being able to email a page off to your colleagues with a copy of your meeting notes was really not easy and not possible in OneNote for Windows 10. So now Microsoft can go back and focus on developing OneNote 2016 and keeping those direct integrations between Outlook and OneNote. What's the future of OneNote for Windows 10? The OneNote team have committed to continue developing that product, which is great news because OneNote for Windows 10 will still be my preferred choice on smaller devices like my Surface Go. I don't really want to use that sort of blocky, cumbersome interface of OneNote 2016 on a device like this. So I'll continue to use OneNote for Windows 10 and expect to see future updates and new features come along in that product. What about OneNote 2016? What's going to happen with that? Will it become OneNote 2019? Well, so far we don't know a lot, but from some of the discussion on Twitter and around the announcement, we have seen that Microsoft have first of all announced the very first feature that's going to ship in OneNote 2016 very soon is the dark mode feature. So that's something that we've seen in most other Office applications and certainly on OneNote for Windows 10 and that will now be in OneNote 2016. Even better than dark mode, the team have discussed updating the synchronization engine in OneNote 2016. If you've ever tried to do real-time collaboration working on the same page at the same time in a OneNote uh, session with somebody else, it works far better in the app than it does in the desktop version. It can be a little laggy in the desktop version. So that new synchronization engine being built back into the code base of OneNote 2016 will really improve our experience of synchronization. The team have also discussed updating and implementing the new math tools, which are really amazing in OneNote for Windows 10, and also the immersive reader. Now the immersive reader, we called it learning tools in OneNote 2016. It was a plugin that you could install, but they're gonna build that right into the native interface of OneNote 2016 or whatever it gets called in future. And just on that, that's another commitment that the Microsoft team have made is to update the interface and the naming so that it aligns with the other Office applications down the track a little bit. I don't know if you've noticed this, but when you open a product like Word or Excel, they're just called Word or Excel, not Word 2019, especially if you're an Office 365 customer. So I assume that OneNote will probably follow along with that branding. Now, some things that I wanna see that I haven't seen discussed yet are things like the new ink tools that we see in OneNote for Windows 10. The pen selections, the ink to shape tool, and the ruler would be very welcome additions to OneNote 2016. Also, that low latency 
ink support. So that faster responsive pen that we see in OneNote for Windows 10 would be very welcome in OneNote 2016 too. I'd also like to see dictation come to OneNote 2016 like we see in other Office applications. And also direct camera integration, perhaps Office Lens camera integration directly right there into OneNote 2016 would be really cool as well. Something that I think could be a little controversial that I'd like to see is some updated options for navigation. Now I personally love the interface of OneNote 2016, having notebooks down the left hand side, sections across the top, pages down the right hand side. But I find in my training that people take to that new navigation that's in OneNote for Windows 10, having everything on the left, far easier. And I see far less confusion and people getting things wrong when they're using that nav in OneNote for Windows 10. So I hope that we at least get an option to change the navigation layout in OneNote in future in OneNote 2016 or whatever it becomes. So that's what I wanna see and some of the things that are definitely coming in OneNote 2016. Tell us about what you wanna see in the comments below. And if you've got any questions about this announcement, we'd love to hear them and do our best to get them answered for you. If you found this helpful, remember to give us the thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel to learn more about OneNote and Surface Pro. Ooh, it's OneNote announcement time. Sorry, I had an itch. <laughs>